Hey, what's up, guys? It's T-Bone here, and welcome back to another episode of playing Legendary Game of Heroes. So, Legend Trials is now live. The last time we saw it, this was still uh, just in preview, but it's now available. So, we're going to, uh, in today's episode, we're going to go ahead and battle Sir, which is the current available boss. Now, if you notice, just below, PvP is also available. So, uh, if we have time, at the end of the video, I'm just going to quickly take a look at some of the changes in PvP and some recommendations for how you might be successful. But today, the main focus is all about Legend Trials. So let's go into this right now. And so, like I said, Surter is the first one that's available and I already actually summoned the boss. It costs 50 of these coins that you can earn through the event. And so if you have 50, uh, you should be able to summon the boss and make sure that you're, uh, uh, if you're not seeing this, Make sure that you're player level 100 or higher uh, because this is only available for that level. So now let's go into the battle uh, tab and you can see that the boss has a trillion health. All right. And there's no Slayer or Commander bonus here. And so it's going to be a little bit harder to take down. And as such, we're going to be using um, my Water Halloween deck because that gives me the best um, you know, damage against it. I have some other ideas on some teams as well. Uh, one of them being the the light Halloween, the sort of Olympians deck, uh, because there. But the thing is, this will deal less damage than my water Halloween deck because it has it doesn't have the affinity bonus. And uh, I did think about using the Mystic team. It just said, but it's Earth, and so that will have a harder time against the Water uh, Fire boss. So this is the team I'm going to go with. Now this is this episode. You know this boss is is hard, right? And so I'm I'm not able to really come up with a budget friendly deck per se. But the goal here is to go through the boss and see what it does, what it's like, and then also kind of come up with ideas for some strategy. And so let's take a look at the intel first. So enemy skill, there's two skills here. The first one is flame guard armor, and we know about this from before. The boss will have 50 stashes of armor that you have to take down with every attack. You can't use skills to get past it. You just have to take down the armor. And then Sir has also a secondary uh, skill, Ragnarok Smash, which will attack two extra times every three turns. So basically, um, you have to basically make sure you have enough health and you want to make sure that you can heal up so that you can uh, deal enough damage. This is going to be a 60 second fight and it's going to be taking, uh, it'll take a little bit. My goal here is to deal 100 billion uh, in this particular attack if I can. And so let's get into it with three keys right now. So the goal, you know, so the way to play the water Halloween type deck or the Halloween type deck is really to uh, match as fast as possible because you have a seven turn wait. And uh, so uh, you have to really do quick matches and then uh, do another swap uh, elsewhere to basically stop the clock. And keep in mind right now, you know, it doesn't really matter what I do. So I'm not really focused on doing um, big attacks right now. I just want to make sure that I can get uh, sufficient attacks so that uh, every, you know, every time I attack, you can see I'm dropping, uh, dropping it down by four because it's, Based on the number of heroes are attacking now if i had five you know all five uh heroes being water uh, cards i could have actually uh you know taken down the armor faster but given that i can only attack with four cards at a time uh that's the reason why so uh and also i don't want to waste any any turns without attacks uh, so that's why i'm going to make sure to use uh Dre Veeple's, uh ability as often as I can and I'm just you know I mean technically I could also just uh, use the battle skills right now but it doesn't really make sense for me it doesn't matter because it doesn't actually um, deal any damage regardless of what I do and so I just, rather than doing that I just want to make sure that I don't end up waiting uh, so let's keep going I'm using a high um, I'm using the, the high resolution view right now, so it's lagging a little bit. Uh, let's make sure, uh, hopefully it's not gonna crash on me, but we are a few turns away from, from taking this down four more turns. If I can just get matches for all four, uh, let's make sure that, okay. Well, I did a, a power gem swap there anyways. That's all right. Okay, three more turns and then we're ready to, 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 to rock and roll, okay. 
Yeah, so basically, you know, like just taking down the armor to zero, you can see is a little bit of a, a challenge right there. So that's why having Aladdin really is sort of uh, a prerequisite here. This is the this is the kind of a boss where you can't survive without at least a heal. All right, so now let's go ahead and we've already built up our intensity to over 350 at this point. So let's go ahead and uh, use the skills uh, now that the armor is down to zero. So uh, I only have one ultra rare and a um, an ultra ultra rare here, so I don't have a, I, I can't actually get it to uh, you know um, power gem threes and fours uh, all the time. So I'm gonna be I don't have as much damage here, but the goal here is to do some quick matches here and make sure that you use uh, Drake Beeple's uh, ability to to heal if you need to, but really. With Aladdin in place, you can see I'm not really uh, hurting here. So the, the goal here is to just make sure that I can do some quick swaps. And then as soon as I finish a swap, uh, I can uh, basically stop the clock. And one of the tips I can talk about here while we're waiting is um, when you're doing a swap, the, the, the what I'm doing is I'm, I'm letting the... Um, as, as it's going dark, I'm using that time to then actually look at... Um, you know, what options are available for, for matches. And then I focus on doing a quick match there and then move the uh, move the gem right next to it. And so I'm going to do the dark followed by the, the light gem. And actually, I just realized that I didn't actually have a... Uh, I didn't have Aladdin available at the time, so I couldn't stop the clock. So I lost a couple seconds there. Uh, okay, so that's turn two. And then the other thing about uh, playing with the Halloween deck is you want to make sure you keep a count in your head. So that you know, like don't don't react to the actual um, battle skill being ready, but instead keep a count here. So this is actually turn four. So after turn six is when uh, the light uh, the, the ability will light will light up, and so that's when you can get prepared for it. So one more turn, and I'm gonna be able to uh, use the skills here. So I'm gonna do one more turn, and then I. I I actually skipped, uh, it looks like I, I did an extra turn there. So let's go ahead and make sure that we use the skill and then use, so I'm using Aladdin skill there. If you notice what I'm doing is I'm using his skill to actually stop the clock, okay? And uh, the way the way this works is you get the uh, board full with uh, the blue, blue, card, uh, blue uh, gems. And then after you do a swap, just use the light gem so you, you use his skill last and it will create one single power gem at the end and you can use that as a uh, clock stopper which is going to be which is really effective in stopping the time because it does otherwise it will cost you uh, two seconds to uh, to finish the boss and uh, to, to, to for the timer to, to finish and right now I don't have a light oh there it is. So I'm going to use one extra turn to get the get the gem over, and this lag is making me actually do bass swaps. So I'm losing some time there. All right, we're we have 21 seconds left, and I think I dealt about 34 billion damage at this point. Okay, and the thing, the other thing to keep in mind too is. Um, I'm able to get additional damage through Coruscant because Coruscant is actually, uh, you know, as the intensity goes up, I am actually boosting my damage as well. So the whole, the, the goal here is, you know, like um, every turn, every seven turns, every, uh, my attack is getting higher and higher. And otherwise, you know, if, if it's capped, uh, that's sort of the... The only thing about uh, Halloween decks is once the intensity gets to a certain level, uh, you can't really go... Um, you can't really increase on your uh, damage anymore so that's why uh, Coruscant is a really good car for that all right I'm trying to talk and uh, trying to play talk and explain uh, sort of how this is going in a 60 second uh, mode is a little bit difficult and I actually did I actually waste I was wasteful there too I, I wasted two of my um, power gems there I didn't really need to all right oh and I did a bad and I did a wrong match all right, let's uh, let's let's regroup. Let's let, let's regroup and make sure that we um, we don't make another mistake here. We only have ten seconds remaining, and we still have forty billion to go. All right, so that means we need to do at least two more hits 
uh, to redeem ourselves. Let's turn three. Okay, four. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of keeping counting my head on uh, the number of turns that I have done. Five. Okay, and then uh, one more turn, and then I will be able to get ready. So this is when I'm going to depress on the on the avatar. So you can see that I can just you know get this invoked as soon as possible. And again, I don't have Aladdin, um, but I, I, uh, I will have it for the next time. So six, seven, six, seven, six point seven seconds. I think I can do two attacks totally if I'm quick. Okay, one, two, and at this point, can't. Re this is where I can't really think as strategically as I can about the placement of my gems. Okay, four, five. All right, so next turn, uh, it'll be ready again. So we'll, let's go ahead and get ready for that. Okay, that's six. So next turn, let's go ahead and uh, depress and get ready. And you notice I'm, I'm not uh, using Dra uh, Drake Beeple's uh, skills anymore because I don't need to, uh, because he basically would just um, increase the intensity of the deck and also do a heal and neither of which are what I need anymore. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. So it looks like I might be able to do three total additional attacks, which is good. And I lost count actually. I think this might have been turn three. Turn four, uh oh. I need to do two quick swaps. Okay, I need to do one more. And how I can do this in 50, 0.52 seconds. Okay, good. So now just enough time to activate everything. And then uh, let's see how much damage we can deal there. <sighs> All right, so looks like I was able to just, just be able to deal over 100 billion damage there. Um, and so with that, so 103 total. So I would need... 10 attacks <laughs> to be able to take this boss down uh, at this rate and this is with a, a water team so this is an extremely difficult boss and you know i i don't know um you know i don't know what what other teams could work better uh, except for having more more of the ultra rare cards in here i only have one as i mentioned uh one ultra rare instead of two there uh you know and then looking at sort of the event cards right so this will probably be like this kind of deck with four four uh, of the uh, support cards and an Aladdin on the team. You might be able to do a few few damage, few billion damage, but then the problem really is um, you're not going to be able to have enough of the prisms within a two day period. It takes seven hours to to actually um, replenish. Uh, so unfortunately, that's why I couldn't come up with a good deck just yet uh, that would uh, actually take it down. And I can't afford to use any uh, key prisms right now on a on a team that can't deal enough damage. So what I will, you know, like what I plan to do is I'm gonna continue to try this, and I'm gonna work, I'm gonna see, um, you know, what other ideas I may have for it. Uh, given that this is the first time this boss has ever come out. Uh, we're gonna keep trying and again like the, the intent really was for this to be a really difficult boss and this is it's just that I wish that it could be a, uh, a boss that's difficult with also additional you know uh, team um, sort of with additional decks that are possible right now I think you really need to have a, a, a deck that can just generate lots of power, power gems Halloween type decks is still the best for this uh, so having said that, let's go and just now take a look again. So, uh, you know, my goal here is to create something for the light. So what they will drop, I'm looking for the suitor core. So it's one of the things that could drop there. Uh, and it looks like I'm going to have to get something from each of the bosses. Right. So it looks like, right. So you, what you need to do is you need to go through all five of these bosses for the drops and then collect enough of them to actually then do your final forge there. So it'll take a while. Uh, and obviously I will continue to uh, provide feedback on this every time it comes out. But so far that's pretty much it for the legend trials and the, what the boss is like. Now go on to v PVP. 
So they actually, uh, I'm on Tower 3 now, and they've introduced a couple of changes. Uh, so the very first change is the timer that, that used to you know be present after you do an attack. It was 15 minutes before, and now they've come back with uh, 60 minutes. So that's the first change. So once you do an attack on, the, on, on a tower, you have 60 minutes to complete a whole tower. And the second thing that they've changed is the total number of levels you need to go through per, level, uh, per tower has decreased. So on uh, so on the first on the first tower you only have to go through two levels and on the second tower it's three and it looks like it's the same number of levels on the tower as well. Besides that, the other change that they've made so they said that they've actually increased the number of they increased the number of uh, Path of Champions keys, but at the same time there's no more gems and so it's a good change and a bad one at the same time because i think you know even if it's just a little bit uh i think pvp was a uh you know nice to have a little bit of an income so i think that this this is something maybe we can give feedback on and say you know gems are nice i think we should have gems uh in any sort of event that we play but having the increased path of champions keys uh will um will also be good and so hopefully with the increased timer and the decreased total number of uh, levels in the PvP, uh, this is going to be easier for most people to play and that uh, that's something that uh, you'll be interested in playing again. Uh, I, I've been waiting for a while, so I'm glad that it's back. And right now the available um, relics is the, the, the water crossbow and the fire ring, ringlet. So that if you have fire defenders, uh, then you can use that. So uh, before I before I sign off here, one last thing because a lot of people have questions. So like, what defenders should you use? Well, for me, I think the easiest thing is to just use wardens, and I I do think that just like in in uh, guild versus guild, uh, using wardens, uh, and if you can have all the same colors, is still going to be uh, probably the most effective. But you're limited by your relics. So really, if you don't have good relics, uh, then your power isn't going to be as high. So right now, I have a uh, six-star uh, light ringlet at uh, level 17, plus uh, four others that are free that I can gather uh, up to four stars. And so far, my, my uh, defenders are at level 6.4. So it's not it's right in the middle. Okay, but these are fully maxed out in Awakened cards, and so I think what you'll have to do is if you're focused on getting the uh, the four star ones, uh, then you're gonna have to at least you know uh, up, upgrade them a little bit to give you a better fighting chance. And so that's all for this episode. So um, you know, Legend Trials, it's difficult, and I'm gonna keep trying and gonna keep thinking, grinding away at it, and think about uh, what uh, what other teams there could be. Uh, but for now, it's you know. I think that this this first one, I'm hoping that <laughs> I'm hopeful that I'll be able to actually uh, defeat the boss, but we'll see. And uh, we'll, we'll check in uh, in a couple of days when uh, the preview is available and we can see my progress there. So thanks for watching. Thanks uh, for your time. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care.